Hi, well hello there, thank you for joining me. My name is Tiffany, I'm one of the teachers at Oak Run here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm going to give you a little sample of one of my offerings called Chillax. It's a nice slow flow with a little bit of deep stretch throughout it. Um, we really like to focus on the breath and just the movement here, um, being very intentional so you can really find your feet and really be grounded in the practice. So to get started, find a nice, comfortable seat here. I enjoy starting in this easy posture with one leg in front of the other. You could also take a cross-legged position or if lotus or half lotus are more comfortable to you, um, please take that um, positioning now. So wherever you are, sit up nice and tall here, feeling yourself extend out through the crown of the head, rooting down through the sit bones. And just gently place your hands on top of the knees, palms facing up or down. I like to glide my hands up and down to find that nice stopping point so that the elbows are in nice and tight, keeping space between the ears and the shoulders. We'll begin with three cleansing breaths here first. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh. One, two more times. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Feel like the shoulders already begin to relax. Finding more space in the body as you inhale, lifting up. As you exhale, feeling the breath wash over you. Rooting down through the sit bones, into the mat and into the earth beneath you. We're going to do a little bit of pranayama to get started here. Do a four part breath. We'll inhale for a count of three and hold at the top for a count of three. We'll exhale for three and then hold at the bottom for another three counts. So while we're doing this, you can use a little bit of visualization. Each um, part of the breath, you can envision like a line to a square to keep that, um, keep your mind at ease and to really keep you rooted in that connection with the breath here. So to get started, you can close your eyes and begin with an inhale for a count of one, two, three. Pause at the top for one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Hold, one, two, three. Inhale. Hold at the top. Exhale. Hold at the bottom. Inhale, filling the body up with this prana energy. Holding at the top, feeling the breath being dispersed to the dull organs. As you exhale, finding that release, letting go, softening and becoming supple. And hold at the bottom here. Feeling everything settle, finding that stillness. Do that one more time, breathing in. Hold. And breathing out. Inhale, returning to the natural breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Just feeling yourself a little more open. 
a little more aware of the inner body. Maybe even a little more aware of what's outside of you, taking in the energy of it. When we connect to our breath, that we can really allow ourselves to be fully present in the moment, not thinking about the past, no concern for the future, just here and now. Your next inhale, go ahead and bring your hands to your heart center, your thumbs placed upon the chest. Go ahead and set the little intention for this time of movement. Everything rides on the point of attention whether we realize it or not. So the more often that we're able to turn into this place to cultivate awareness around our actions, the more optimally we can flourish in the direction of our choosing. So perhaps today you're offering or inviting in, I should say, a little bit more love, a little more gentleness, just to be open. Whatever that may be, as you inhale, bring your hands to your third eye center here, filling the body up with that intention, sitting up nice and tall. And as you exhale, place that intention, dropping the hands into the heart. We'll begin the movement part with one, the sound of OM together, but first a cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, side out. Inhale for OM now. Om. Gently open the eyes here. As you inhale, bring your arms up overhead, gazing at the thumbs, shoulders relax. As you exhale, bring your hands down by the sides, fingertips touching the earth. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, arms up, gaze follows. Exhale, releasing the hands. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Tiptoe your right fingers over down to the mat. Inhale, the left hand to the sky. As you exhale, pressing into the right palm. Find a side body stretch from that pinky all the way down into the left hip here, gazing up under the bicep. Two more breaths, breathe in and breathe out. Once more, inhale, really focus on pushing that left hip down and exhale. Inhale, rise, bring your hands down by the sides. Going to the other side, tip to left fingers over. Inhale, right arm up. As you exhale, really press right hip down, gazing under right bicep. Two more breaths, breathe in and breathe out. Once more, inhale, and exhale. Begin to rise here, bringing your hands back to your heart space. Inhale, bring the prayer overhead. As you exhale, bring the hands back behind you, fingertips facing the back of the room. Inhale, drop the knees down, lifting up the hips, lifting the heart, and option to drop your head back for a front body opening. Take two more breaths here. Inhale, keep lifting through the chest and exhale. One more time, breathe in and breathe out slowly, lower down. Walking your hands out in front of you, bringing your gaze to the thumbs here. Really pressing into the earth here, pushing back your sit bones. Walk your hands out as far as you can, making sure the sit bones are rooted to the earth. When you've gone as far as you can, releasing the head here. Three breaths, inhale, feeling the expansion of the lungs completely on the back side of the body. And the exhale, feeling the front body growing heavier. Breathing in and breathing out, moving the heart towards the earth. Rounding down with tension. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, slowly walk the hands back towards the body here. We're going to take a couple seated cats and cows, placing your hands around the knees. As you inhale, rock the body forward, bring the elbows in tight, lifting up the chin. As you exhale, lift the elbows, belly button to the spine, pressing the heart to the back wall, dropping the head here. Two more times. Inhale, lifting up the chest, shoulders back, chin is lifted. 
Exhale, pressing back, scoop the belly button to side. One more time, inhale, lift, and exhale, pressing back. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, and exhale here. Transferring now, coming into a neutral tabletop position, you'll place your wrists beneath the shoulders, the knees beneath the hips, Find that nice long line from the crown of the head to the tailbone here. Try not to drop the belly just yet. We'll take a couple rounds of cats and cows here. As you inhale for BT Wasana, drop the belly down, pull the shoulders back towards the hips, lifting the gaze forward. As you exhale, press the floor away from the Amar Jariasana for cat with the shoulders roll forward. Inhale to BT Wasana. Exhale, Marj Aryasana. One more time. Inhale, Bhittilasana. Pressing the heart forward. Exhale, Marj Aryasana. Belly button, spine curling in. Inhale, return to your neutral tabletop. And exhale here. On your next inhale, tuck your ten toes under, lifting the knees up off the ground about three inches. As you inhale, you're going to slightly shift the weight forward over the wrist. As you exhale, bring the heels together over the knees up nice and wide. Inhale, floating forward. Exhale, pressing back. One more time. Inhale, forward. Exhale, heels touch ever so slightly, dropping the head down. And then straighten both legs here, coming into your first Adamuka downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide. Allow the heels to yearn towards the mat here, pressing them back if they are touching, gaze back towards the body. Inhale, come high onto your toes. As you exhale, drop the heels over to the right side. Inhale, back to the center, high on both toes. Exhale, drop the heels to the left here. Inhale, back to the center. And as you exhale, drop just the left heel down, let the right knee Bend here on the ball of the right foot. Let that hip hang heavy. Pressing equally into both hands here. Finding that stretch all along the left side of the body, all through the hamstring, into the calf. Inhale, high onto the toes and switching sides, soft bend in the left leg. Right heel comes down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, high into the toes. As you exhale, release both heels down towards the earth, gazing back towards the body. We'll take a cleansing breath here. Breathe in through the nose. And exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, coming forward to a plank position. High up to the toes, pressing into the earth, straightening the arms. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, slowly lower down, coming onto our stomachs, untucking the toes, coming right into sphinx position, bringing the elbows just beyond the shoulders here. And take a moment, relax the shoulders, and then engage them. Soften the gaze about three feet in front of you, trying to keep space between the shoulders and the ears. For a nice gentle back bend, we'll take three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Making sure the elbows are in line with the shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Once more, inhale. And as you exhale, lower down, bring the hands back by the armpits. Tuck the ten toes under and pressing back, coming into a wide legged like child pose, the last one. Bring the big toes together, open the knees up wide, and walk your hands forward, melting the heart towards the earth, releasing the forehead to the back here. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. Your next inhale, walk your hands over to the right side. Maybe place left hand on top of the right, accentuating that left side of the body, drawing that left hip back. Exhale. One more breath here, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, come back to the center. Walking hands over now to the left as you exhale. Right palm comes on top of left maybe, pulling the right hip back. Breathe in and breathe out. 
Inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, bring your palms to touch, making a prayer, prayer hand here. Then place them at the back side of the head here, really pressing into the elbows, finding a nice opening across the shoulders. Breathe in. And breathe out. Returning to our intention here as we place it towards the back side of the body, a place that isn't seen but only felt. Really feel into the intention that you've set for this mini practice. In your next exhale, releasing the hands down, tuck the ten toes under, going back to down or facing dog. Oh, I'm done. Take a cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, side out. Bending the legs, gaze is forward. Slowly walk your feet towards your hands, coming towards the top of the mat here for a little halfway lift, pressing the heart forward. And as you exhale, softly bend the knees, dropping the head down. And place your palms up here. It's a gesture of surrendering, letting your upper body just be heavy. And slowly begin to warm up the backside here, back sides of the legs. And just begin to play with straightening them here. As we begin to open up to that space. Once you find your legs as straight as they can be, grab opposite elbows here for that little rag doll, letting your body waterfall forward, maybe sway back and forth here. One more breath here. Releasing the hands, halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to standing, press the palms together. And as you exhale, we'll take three hot sun salutations, folding forward, exhale. Inhale to Arda, press heart forward, gaze is soft to the front, exhale, release. Inhale, rise to standing, palms touching, gazing at the thumbs. Exhale, Uttanasana, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Last one, maybe find a little back bend. Exhale, folding forward here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift once more. Staying here, bend that right leg. And as you exhale, walk your hands around to the right side here. Really feeling a stretch into the outer left hip. Inhale, and exhale, twist a little more deeply. One more breath, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, back to the center, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend the left leg, softly walking the hands around. Breathing in and breathing out. Once more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to the center, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, press the palms together. And as you exhale, bringing your hands to your heart center here. To find a little bit of closing on your next inhale, come high onto the toes. As you exhale, slowly lower down, dropping your sit bones towards the earth, reaching your arms out in front of you, and slowly going back here, placing your hands behind you, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, wrap your right arm around the legs, shifting the gaze over the left for a nice little twist. Inhale and exhale. Come back to the center. Inhale, switching sides, left arm around the legs, right arm back behind you. Breathing in and breathing out. Once more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, bring your legs out in front of you, finding Baddha Konasana, keeping the heels together, allow the knees to fall out to the side. So that nice and tall as you breathe in. And as you exhale, bring the belly button to the spine, best that you can, and try to drop your forehead towards the feet here. 
We'll take three breaths. You can use your elbows to press down onto the thighs to find a little more of that stretch there. Going a little bit deeper. One more breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale here. So that was just a small little sample of uh, what I like to offer during our chillax class here. We definitely do a little more in the standing as well as more in the seated, but just to give you a little idea of what we will, how we will begin and how we can transition our way to the mat here um, when we're closing. So we'll just close it today, bringing your hands to your heart center. I thank you for just dropping in and taking this little sample. Um, we'll close with the sound of OM together. Inhale for OM now. Oh. Bring your hands to your third eye center. Namaste.